So summer is setting in and things are slowing down. What can you do about it? Hey, welcome back to Long Crack and I hope you are doing well. And as you probably well know that summer is here, it's hot. Uh, the grass is definitely showing signs of it and slowing down, going dormant, stuff like that. Depending on where you're at, obviously that's gonna vary. But I think everybody runs into this uh, from time to time over the years if you uh, are in business for a while. So I just wanted to discuss what, what can you do about the, the drought, the slow period over the summer when things slow down, the lawns really don't need to be cut, but maybe every two weeks or something like that. What can you possibly do about it? So the, the very first thing is, you know, I realized this in my business. The first year I started my business, there was a, a really bad drought. I mean, we weren't cutting lawns for three or four weeks at a time and they just, they did not need to be cut. Um, I actually had to start doing something else to generate income because I just, my, my business was in infancy, infancy stage. But now, um, you know, as I, as I ran my business over the years, I realized this is gonna be a common problem and something that I need to address. So I've really had to get proactive uh, regarding this and really load up the schedule in the spring. So uh, ideally, you just max out your spring schedule. So your, your guys have to know they need to be working basically sun up to sundown in the spring if they expect to be getting 40 hours a week over the summer when the lawns only need to be cut every other week. So that that's number one. Build your clientele up. Go in with the understanding that you're gonna have to put in some seriously long hours in the spring. And that that is 100% the best bet on how to handle this. But let's say let's say it's too late for that you know what i mean your your guys are getting you know 25 30 hours a week they're talking about leaving they they can't pay their bills this isn't enough blah 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 i know i know everything they say so um what you can do is i'll make a whole separate video on google my business but google my business is becoming super duper important right now google's really pushing it and they're rewarding the people that are uh, going in there and updating all the information you can add your services But more importantly you can add like posts and different things like this some specials all this kind of stuff That'll potentially pop up on Google searches and entice people to buy so what would you do with that? You would you know focus on services that are relevant now if you do hardscapes over the summer like this is an excellent time to do hard hardscapes you don't have to deal with rain coming in and messing up your base overnight and stuff like that so hardscapes is a great one um, summer pruning is is another thing that you can can uh, fill up the schedule a little bit with um, another thing that a customer told me and this made a lot of sense I never really heard of it before but he asked to have his lawn aerated in the middle of the summer and he's like you know I was reading somewhere that you know, if, if you aerate your lawn over the summer, since we're not getting that much rain, it'll just really help what little rain we do get. Or if you if you do water your lawn, it'll be that much more beneficial because you'll have all those holes and then the water will be getting down. The roots can dig down in the soil to get it. So that's a great idea if you can upsell some uh, clients on that. And the, the only thing with that is the ground's probably really hard. So you're probably gonna need like a stand-on X-Mark aerator or something, something with some hydraulic down pressure. The old drum style aerators probably aren't gonna do much right now, but that's one thing. Um, Facebook, get active on social media. Be posting out relevant stuff for this time of the year. And don't forget when you're posting to, to Facebook and stuff like that, put out just valuable content. Don't always be trying to sell. Put out stuff that people would find value in and appreciate and then that way they're not gonna like turn off uh, notifications or unlike your page or anything like that um, what else can you do another thing you can do is eat a day and send your guys out marketing with with flyers what, what would get you the best uh, best return on this is send the guys out on a Saturday Saturday morning maybe they go out around 9 or 10 when most people are potentially home 
hopefully they're not working and you can get in front of people and actually talk to them that will be so much more beneficial than just leaving a door hanger but if that's all you can do do that yard signs as always yard signs will help drum up business um you know all this kind of stuff so honestly the best thing to do is to really max that schedule out in the spring but if if you have not done that it's too late for that then consider what what else can you possibly do can you sacrifice today and send your guys out advertising to drum up business or maybe just go out yourself and that's what i got for you hopefully you're not dealing with this right now <laughs> i just that's one of the things about what i love about what i do right now it does not matter to me if the grass is growing or not but i fully understand what you guys are going through i feel your pain and i wish you the very best we're here to help in any way we can. We're absolutely crushing the internet right now. So if you do need leads online, we can do that. But we focus on SEO. It's not going to be an instant thing. But, you know, set yourself up for success next year. And, yeah. Until the next video, keep making money.